So everybody, I thought I would give you some additional information that I can pass on from my tour during the 4th of July holiday here at Giga Texas. There is some new information that I would like to pass along that you might find interesting. And some of these are frequent questions that I get from viewers. So hopefully this will help answer some of them. One thing that I would like to mention that has to do with uh, changing of operations here at Giga Texas, and it goes again with much of what I've been showing you over the last uh, year, and that has to do with the West Support Facility and that new end of line structure, that large white facility uh, on that west side next to the outbound lot. Let's take a moment and orient you to the areas that we will be discussing. Now, the left-hand side of the screen is called the West Support Facility. It's composed of a number of different facilities, including the West Warehouse on Wheels or WOW Yard, the Transportation Outbound Lot, the new end of line facility and a variety of other items as well and on the right hand side of the screen is the main factory and that's where the vehicles are produced the current end of line facilities are located and you can see the new car current routing to go from the factory underneath the south bridge and over to the west support facility a common question I get is what is the end of line and what is its function? And it's a very good question. Here's an image from Giga Berlin showing the end of line in that facility. And this is the final steps a product undergoes before it leaves the manufacturing facility. Here's a image I took inside the factory of the Cybertruck end of line. And this is where quality checks, testing, packaging, and sometimes customization of customer requirements can take place. This is a great shot of me in the uh, Cybertruck end of line facility area, give you an idea about the size. And what it does is they ensure that correct assembly of the hundreds of intricate components, rigorous quality assessments, and compliant with safety standards is, are met and checked. Here's an image of the end of line in Giga Texas for the Model Y. Now, this ensures that every vehicle rolling off the assembly line meets those criteria by the manufacturer, also the appropriate regulatory bodies, and this is the last step before the vehicles are processed for transportation. Here's a quick illustration of where the Model Y end-of-line facility is currently located in the factory in the upper left, the Cybertruck end-of-line facility in the center of the screen, and the new vehicle routing to the west support facility along the west side of the factory. With this image, I show you an older illustration of Giga Texas. It shows you where General Assembly 1 for the Model Y is located and General Assembly Lines 2 and 3, predominantly where the Cybertruck is currently constructed at this time. The construction of the South End Extension has changed the routing for the Cybertruck multiple times. Originally, it came out of the South End and headed to the East, as shown. We know that uh, up until recently, the Cybertrucks have been exiting the Southwest corner in that temporary exit by those two uh, temporary platforms. And that's because of all the construction that's going on with that South End extension. And once the boring tunnel is operational, that's going to do a lot as far as being able to not only move the Cybertrucks over to the other side, but also the end of line is going to operationally completely move over to the west side and all of the end of line functions will take place at that new end of line facility. Now for the Model Ys, we know that on the west side, about midpoint of the building, the vehicles exit. That is the end of line for the Model Ys. And when they exit the building currently, that end of line work is basically done. And then they transfer the Model Ys across over to that uh, west outbound lot and the west uh, support facility for transport. The change that is coming up, and I've actually shown you that happening with some of my drone flight recently, is that the operations of end of line is completely moving for the Model Ys over to that new west end of line facility. So now the exit point will be the same that we see right now on the west side of the factory. The vehicles will still be driven over to the west side for right now. 
but the end of line functions are going to be taking place inside that new end of line facility on the west side. So that helps answer some of my viewer questions and that is what is the purpose of the end of line facility on the west side as opposed to what's going on in the factory. And the purpose is now with these new changes to complete the final assembly, structural checks, calibrations and other tests necessary for the vehicles to be able to be shipped. And with that all moving over to the West End of Line facility, that is why it is called the End of Line facility. And that's going to free up a lot more space for additional uh, production, uh, if you will think about it that way, in the near future here at Giga Texas. So what we're going to see with the drones uh, here now on is a lot more Model Ys and Cybertrucks processing through that end of line facility on the west side. And while that's happening, there's gonna be reconfiguration work underway for the next few months inside the factory to prepare for what's coming. So I hope that that helps answer a little bit more about what is going on, on the west side and how that relates to some of the operations that are changing here at Giga Texas.